What's up YouTube? My name is Mike. Welcome to my channel. And today I am going to show you a simple recipe for your next big game. Okay? So, um, quick disclaimer before I jump right into it. I am not a professional chef, cook, dietitian, or health expert by any sort. So please cook at your own risk, eat at your own risk. If you want to pick up pro tips on how to cook, uh, this video is probably not for you. I'm just going to be honest. Um, this is strictly for entertainment purposes only, and you might pick up a couple of things, uh, but again, it's mostly for entertainment. Let's jump right into it, and let me give you a quick tour of my kitchen, okay? Um, and bear with me here because I don't generally uh, uh, cook anything. I I'm just uh, going to be upfront with you. I used to go to Chipotle three to five times per week. Um, I am not proud of that, but ever since the you-know-what happened, more people started to work from home, cook from home, all that sort of stuff. So I am still learning. Uh, and with that being said, if you have any simple recipe, recipes, 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 please leave them down in the comments um, because I'm always uh, looking to learn new things, uh, especially in the kitchen, okay? So let me give you a quick tour of my kitchen. I um, live in New York, uh, not the city. I do live in a relatively small house under 700 square feet. So here is my kitchen. I'm not going to give you a house tour. Um, and yes, I am a Bills fan, as you can see. I am a Bills fan. Um, so uh, if you are into football, uh, I mean, I'm assuming you are because you probably saw my thumbnail with my crazy hair and all that. Um, if you are into football and you're watching the games, the conference championship games this weekend, uh, and then obviously um, uh, most football fans watch the big game, uh, of course, I'm talking about the Puppy Bowl, right? Uh, this is probably what you came here for. Look at that. Simple, simple, simple. And I'll jump in to this in a second. Um, everybody, if you do, and take a look at this. Yeah, I know. Look at the creativity. This took me about seven months to think of. No, I'm just kidding. Um, if you do enjoy the video, please like and please uh, consider subscribing because I will be posting more of these cooking videos uh, as the weeks and months go on. I'm trying to learn new things. So again, if you have any simple recipes, leave them in the comments. Okay, so um, before we get started, I just want to talk about a few things here, all right? So obviously food safety, most of you already know this, um, but if you want to, oh, don't, uh, never mind about that. Just ignore that. Um, I've been procrastinating on my dishes, story of my life, uh, but all jokes aside, don't um, uh, leave any other food around your sink if you are going to rinse your chicken. Now, a lot of people uh, like to rinse their chicken. Some people like to pat it down. Do your own research. Um, as of recent, I started to pat down my chicken um, and, you know, knock on wood, I haven't gotten sick, okay? Uh, again, do your own research. And um, the thing about thing about chicken wings, okay, there, that's better lighting. And again, guys, I'm just using my phone. I don't have a fancy camera, so I apologize in advance. Um, the thing about marinating chicken wings, okay, first you have to have some sort of container, right? Then I recommend hot sauce, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and of course your olive oil. Now it doesn't have to be organic. Um, this is just what I had in my, uh, in my cupboard, okay? So what we're going to do now is we're going to marinate the chicken wings. Normally, depending on your situation, okay, so say you have people that are coming over, a few friends or family members, and of course you're going to socially distance, right, um, distance. Say you have some people coming over and you need to get this going. I would recommend marinating them the night before and putting them in your fridge, okay? Um, that's just me, but if you're really hungry and you're on a tight schedule, Get that oven preheated as soon as possible, okay? Um, I put it on 400 and I let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes before I throw in the, uh, the wings. But in terms of marinating, I would, um, let me think here. Again, it all depends on your situation, but I uh, am usually a hungry individual, so I let them sit anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour. Um, and I just want it enough so that I can taste the marinade and if I really uh, don't taste it, I can always dip uh, my chicken wings in more hot sauce after they're done cooking. Okay? Simple enough. So, 
Now I am going to um, try to do this with one hand. This will be interesting. All right, so we're gonna do this and okay, we're gonna do this. And again, you just want, you don't wanna overdo it, right? And of course you can see my thumb in there. I'm sorry about that. So I like a lot of hot sauce. Um, and again, oh, another quick disclaimer, I am not sponsored by any of these companies, which you guys probably already uh, assumed. Frank's Red. So why do I use Frank's Red, right? Check out these ingredients here, if you can read that. There's not many, right? Again, do your own research, and most of you probably already know this. Uh, the less ingredients in something, generally, the healthier it is for you. The more ingredients you see in something, um, it, there's just a lot of junk uh, in, in a lot of food, um, a lot of, you know, uh, uh, dips, marinades, etc. cetera. Uh, but again, do your own research. I like Frank's because it's good. Um, I've used other marinades before. I've used other hot sauces, barbecue I like, um, uh, some uh, original Buffalo Anchor Bar, uh, uh, hot sauce. Um, if you guys aren't familiar, check them out. Um, and, uh, a bunch of other stuff. But anyways, I use Frank's red because one, it's what I have in my house right now. And two, uh, it doesn't have many ingredients. So, um, olive oil I like to use as a base. Plus it's tastes good and it's, it's actually pretty good for you. Um, salt and pepper, obviously salt and pepper gives more of a, uh, uh, buzz to it, right? Um, so now what I'm going to do, I'm not going to bore you guys with uh, putting the olive oil in and using my hands, plus I want to wash my hands. I'm going to marinate them, let them sit for a little bit, and then we're going to throw them in there. All right, look at those things. Wow. So let's go over here. You're going to need a tray, but if you don't have a tray, that's fine. You can use tin foil. Now, here's the thing about only using tin foil. Um, be careful because I have had it before where the chicken wing uh, falls, um, uh, you know, right off to the side of the tin foil, and it's just a mess to clean up in the oven. But I'm going to show you a pro tip uh, on how to um, make sure that doesn't happen. Okay, and yeah, I'm wearing a dish towel because I do not have a bib. Um, if you guys have a bib or um, an apron. Definitely use that. I know I look ridiculous, but I really don't care. Oh, quick, actually, while I'm on this, um, I have to show my, I have to give you guys a full, uh, quick attire um, uh, 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 picture of uh, what I'm wearing because my friends always make fun of me for not matching. Well, you know what? Look at this. Besides this, check this out. I've got my shirt blue, I've got my blue jeans, I've got my, if you can see there, the lighting is terrible. My blue slippers, and I've got two socks that are blue, but they are, um, they're not matching. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but they are blue, so, okay, cut me some slack, guys. Um, anyways, I'm going to throw these on the tray. We're going to let them cook for 45 minutes, okay? Remember, preheat the oven to 400 for 15, 10, 15, 20 minutes, um, do your own research on it, but that's what I like to do. And we're going to cook them for about 45 minutes. Um, let me show you this here. You know what? I am going to try to. I think I can do it with one hand. This will be interesting. Um, oh, boy. Okay. Let's try it. If they go all over the floor, do not laugh. All right. Now, you see that? See the marinade? You're going to want to make sure that drips over. I got that technique, that pro tip from my uh, buddy out in San Diego, um, Matthew. So Matthew, thank you for that. I won't use your last name, don't worry. But thank you for that pro tip, Matthew. Um, and so after that, guys, um, you are going to want to uh, not do what I did. Um, as you can see, <laughs> I was caught up in the moment and I didn't put the tin foil um, on on the tray, so don't do that. But you know what? We're going to adjust. Okay, give me a second to uh, make a few modifications, and I'll be right back. Okay, we've adjusted. Now look at these delicious, delicious-looking wings. Okay, I cleaned off the tray. Uh, put the tin foil on the tray before you put the wings on. Now, as you can see, I spread out the wings. Right? Okay. Here's the pro tip. 
you're gonna wanna make a dome with another, um, a dome, okay, with another piece of tin foil. Why? Because you don't want the inside of your oven to get messy. The, the top inside of your oven, if that makes sense. So make a dome, doesn't have to be perfect, you can do it loosely, whatever. Um, and I'm gonna do that once I put the phone down so I can use two hands. And again, um, let your uh, uh, oven make sure it's preheated to 400 and wow, I need to clean uh, that. Okay, that's interesting. Um, and yeah, throw in your wings. So um, I did not, as you noticed, I did not add the salt and pepper. You can at this stage of the game. Um, I like to personally wait until they're done. Uh, and I, I put a little bit of salt and pepper on and I dip them in more hot sauce, okay? But again, it's your personal preference. Um, just make sure, oh yeah, this is actually a huge uh, important tip um, and something you need to be aware of. If you're not sure the chicken is done cooking, open the oven, right, with this thing, with the like button, the hot plate hand, the glove, whatever you wanna call it. Um, open up your oven and lift open the tin foil, use a small knife, cut, find one of the biggest wings without sticking your hand all the way in the oven and burning yourself. You don't wanna do that, I've done it. Um, find one of the biggest wings, the thickest, slice it in the middle and look at the chicken, see if it's done. If it's not, chances are the rest of them um, need more cooking, okay? So uh, set your timer for 45 minutes. Do not leave your house, okay? Don't, there's no reason to leave your house with your oven on. Uh, cooking wings. Stay in your house, make sure the timer is set, go check them, and uh, yeah, that's that's all I have. So right now we're going to cook them, and I'll see you back here in a, in 45 minutes, but luckily for you, you don't have to wait in real time. <laughs> okay. Okay, it is time. Let's take a look. And as always, safety first. Um, and by the way, don't do this with one hand, okay? Um, I'm just trying to show you the experience, but make sure you're doing this safely with two hands. Use the hot glove. Let's see what we got here. Oh man, I'm getting excited. You know why? Because I can smell the satisfaction of making your own dish to eat. And I know, I'm not a professional. I don't care, this is a big deal for me, okay? So let me just get excited. Check it out. Three, two, one. <laughs> Wow, is that a better angle? Look at that, wow. Oh man. Okay, so a couple things here. Um, you're going to obviously want to get a plate. So, um, yeah, I don't, uh, oh, okay, yes, I do have a plate. You know what, I'm gonna put them in a bowl though. I'm gonna put them in a bowl. So you're gonna to wanna to use a utensil, and um, ideally a spatula would help, but in this case, my spatula is dirty, so I am going to use this uh, spoon here, okay? Now, take a look. You wanna make sure, let me just make sure the lighting's good, okay. You wanna make sure, obviously, um, that they're done, right? But I know these guys are done. 
So check this out. See how I'm taking it off? Now, there's a couple of... It, all right. There's a couple of tips here. If you want to avoid this situation, see how it didn't fully come off uh, nicely? You can actually flip these about halfway through when they're in the oven. All right? Um, you can flip them. Again, do it safely. Uh, but because... Um, I really don't care about presentation. I'm not going to be looking at these things uh, for too long. They're going to end up in my stomach within about probably five minutes. So um, if you don't care about presentation and you're lazy like me, I'm just being frank. Uh, <laughs> Frank's red, no pun intended. That was good. Um, <laughs> then just let them be cook. And again, they're not gonna peel perfectly, but again, if they're going in your stomach in a short amount of time, just do what I did, okay? So, back to here. You're gonna peel them, and you're gonna place them, ideally on a plate, all right? So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna put them in that bowl, and I'm gonna come over here and cut up a few things. So with the garlic, you want to make sure, and um, I, I really seriously don't recommend using a butter knife to do this. Again, make sure you have a clean uh, cutting knife. Don't use a butter knife. But you want to make sure you have a hard surface, okay? And you want to, um, you know, use two hands while you're cutting, all right? Do not use one. And another pro tip, guys, with this garlic, see how I'm cutting it? Don't do that. Before you cut it, squeeze the juices out like this, okay? Squeeze the juices out and then cut it and squeeze them again, okay? But you don't have to. This is actually kind of uh, a process here. Um, and another thing, make sure Make sure, wow, that lighting is, there we go. Make sure um, you remove the skin on the garlic before uh, you start cutting. As you can see, I failed at that, um, so don't do what I did there. But, you know, it's a process and we are learning as we go, okay? So don't feel embarrassed. Um, just know that every mistake you can make in the kitchen, I've made. So the next time something happens, just think back and say, all right, that Mike guy from that YouTube video, he's probably made every mistake in the book, so I'm not gonna feel that bad about it, okay? So now I am going to, and again, you don't have to cut up garlic and uh, carrots, guys, okay? Some people might call this uh, a salad, um, a miniature salad. I would call it just carrots and garlic. Ideally, you wanna add in broccoli, celery, um, oh yes, and dipping. Dipping, so you've got your standard blue cheese. Um, some people use sour cream to dip. Yes, believe it or not, they use sour cream. I have a couple of friends who love sour cream. Um, I love it, but I wouldn't probably uh, dip my, my salad uh, in it. So, and again, I know what you're thinking. Oh, this is not a salad. Well, to me, somebody who cannot cook, uh, it is a salad. Um, so don't judge me, thank you. The <laughs> um, blue cheese, not a huge fan. You can use blue cheese. You can use whatever you got. Um, I might actually dig through my fridge in a little bit to see what I have. Uh, I've got Worcestershire sauce, uh, barbecue sauce. You know, be creative. Do, do you is what I'm trying to get at, okay? Do whatever you uh, want to do in terms of dipping uh, in different sauces, okay? Okay. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, this is pretty much the end of it. A uh, couple of quick things, and I do genuinely hope that you got a couple of tips out of this. If you didn't, hopefully you got a couple of laughs, maybe a half of a laugh, a giggle. If you did, please consider liking, yep, liking and subscribing to the channel if you want to see more of these sorts of videos. I work from home now. I'm going to revamp my channel. So if you look forward to these sorts of videos uh, and you want to get a few laughs, um, please, again, give me some simple recipes uh, down in the comments. 
I'm not looking for anything complicated, okay? Just simple recipes. Um, and if you want me to make a video on a specific recipe, I'd be more than happy to do it uh, because I love to eat. I don't really like to cook, but I love to eat. Um, go Bills, and let me know in the comments below uh, who you think's gonna make it to the big game, okay? Who's gonna make it out of their conference uh, this weekend? Who's making it to the big game and who's gonna win the big game? Let me know in the comments below who you think it's gonna be. Thanks for joining everyone and um, stay safe, stay healthy, God bless, okay? Talk to you soon.